Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the anatomy of the mouth. The mouth is a crucial part of our health and communication, and in this video, we'll explore the intriguing and essential components that make up this intricate system. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of mouth anatomy to help you gain a better understanding. So, without further ado, let's dive into the mysteries of the mouth. Mouth is a major part of the body. Tongue is a main organ which is located inside the mouth. It is covered with skin and helps in various functions, such as chewing food, sensing taste, speaking, and swallowing. Sticking to the upper surface of the tongue are small organs called papillae, which help in binding the taste of food. Can occur in different parts of the tongue. The middle part of the tongue is located in the center of the alphabet and is also called the middle part. This part is the widest and most stable part of the tongue and plays an important role in chewing and swallowing food. The central part of the tongue generally contains all the letters of the alphabet, which are divided into angles. This part helps to produce different sounds of language. The middle part of the tongue mainly participates in personal and social communication, allowing us to converse in different languages. Additionally, the central portion of the tongue contains rostral papillae, which are important for taste perception. Tip of the tongue. This edge helps in speaking and experiencing taste. Lateral sides of the tongue. These edges help in chewing and swallowing food. Back of the tongue, this edge helps in making the food tasty and experiencing the taste. It is through these lateral parts of the tongue that we can chew food, experience taste, and speak in other languages. The upper surface of the tongue is the part of the tongue that mainly helps in experiencing the taste of food. This surface is located on the upper part of the tongue and a variety of papillae or small superficial tissues help in sensing it. With the help of these papillae we sense various tastes such as sweet, sour, pungent, and bitterness. Exemplary papillae are filiform papillae. These papillae are simple and do not aid in the perception of taste, but with their help food is caught. Foliate papillae. These papillae are on the sides of the tongue and help sense deep tastes. Fungiform papillae. These are red in color and help sense sweet and sour tastes. Conical papillae. These papillae are on the back of the tongue and help in the perception of taste. This papilla plays an important role in the tongue's ability to perceive taste. The base of the tongue is the part that is located on the lower side of the tongue. This part is usually associated with the lower part of the throat. This part helps in swallowing food and is also useful for greeting people with language. The base of the tongue is supported by the glands and other stimulatory mechanisms that control swallowing. Additionally, there are also rostral papillae, which are important for taste perception. Juiciness of the tongue refers to the property that is caused by the fluids found on the surface of the tongue. Juiciness of the tongue simply expresses the condition when moisture is felt on the tongue, due to which we feel the taste of food well. This fluidity results from the contact of the rostral papilla with fluids, which sensitize the food juices. It plays an important role in perceiving taste and helps us enjoy food. Apart from this, the lushness of the tongue also indicates about its cleanliness and health. Lips are an important part of our mouth which is located around the mouth. It covers a particular area of the skin and is usually red or yellow. Lips are important for talking, laughing, eating, and drinking. The upper lip is the part which is located on the upper part of the mouth. This lip forms the bottom and top boundary of the mouth. This part usually attracts special attention while communicating with other people and enhances the beauty of the face. The support and protection of the upper lip also improves oral structure, such as during teeth collisions and swallowing of food. In addition, the upper lip also plays an important role in the production of sound during communication. It improves communication and produces meaningful sound. The lower lip is the part which is located in the lower part of the mouth. This is called that part which is situated below the upper lips. The lower lip primarily helps in speaking, eating, and breathing. These lips are usually combined with the upper lips and require individual care, such as they should be properly moisturized so that they remain moist. Additionally, the lower lips should appear to have balanced color and health, as these can be an important indicator of health. The corners of the lips are the ends of the lips, which refers to the areas at both corners of a person's lips. These corners are the main beauty points of a person's face and often attract attention. The corners of the lips are mainly formed by two major parts, the upper lip and the lower lip. These are located on the outer border of the lips and blend with other parts of the face. The lips primarily help in chewing and swallowing food, and they also play an important role in protecting and supporting the language. Additionally, they also contribute significantly to the sense of color, coolness, and saturation. The oral cavity, or what is called the oral cavity, 
is an important part of the body that is used for chewing food, swallowing, and speech. It also involves many other organs such as the tongue, teeth, lips, gums, and jaw. Face is an important part of the human body which is mainly located around the mouth. It is the main point of a person's identity and represents the person's personality and health. Throat is an important part of the body which is located below the throat. It plays an important role in underlying swallowing and inhalation. The larynx is associated with various organs, such as the tongue, gums, and windpipe. Pharyngus. This is the main windpipe that transports air to the lungs. Epiglottis. This helps lengthen the trachea during ingestion of food and water, preventing food and water from entering the throat. Jugular arteries of the neck. These conduct blood circulation in the neck and provide strength to the organs of the signaling system. Heels. The muscles around the neck are called heels. These help in keeping the internal airways continuously open. The larynx is important for storing food, breathing, and producing sounds. Therefore, it is extremely important to take care of throat hygiene and health. Another name for trachea is windpipe. It is useful for carrying air to the lungs. Observational tube is an important organ of the human body which is situated between the heart and lungs. It is a long, light and powerful tube that carries air to the lungs so that oxygen can be supplied to the body. The trachea primarily transports air through the nose and mouth and is essential for mobility and gas exchange in the lungs. It is accompanied by mucus secreted from a tracheal gland, which circulates blood down the observation pipe towards the urinary bladder. The trachea is approximately 12 to 15 centimeters, 4.7 to 5.9 inches, long and remains permanently open to allow air to flow in during spontaneous respiration. It helps in delivering air to the lungs so that they can get the oxygen needed for physical functions. Respiratory tract is an important part of the body, which is responsible for carrying air to the lungs. It starts from the nose and mouth and takes the air to the lungs, which causes respiration, air sound. The respiratory tract can be divided into two parts. Upper respiratory tract, it includes the nose, mouth, pharyngeal, and throat. These organs carry air towards the lower parts of the respiratory tract. Lower respiratory tract, this includes the source of cough such as the bronchi and lungs. It transports air to the lungs where oxygen is finally incorporated into the blood and carbon dioxide is expelled. This tube is probably a major site of infection and transmission of diseases, such as common cold, sinusitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, and coronavirus, etc. Therefore, its proper care and hygiene is very important. There is oral cavity or buccal cavity. It is an important organ of the body which is mainly located inside the mouth. The wall of the mouth includes many main organs such as the tongue, teeth, lips, gums, cheeks, and heavy parts of the mouth. It is mainly used to help in swallowing, sensing, and digestion of food. The wall of the mouth helps in various organs as well as blood circulation, digestion of food wastes, and elimination of waste materials. Additionally, it is also important in commercial usage, such as in speech and greetings. The wall of the mouth contains major parts that help in chewing and swallowing food, as well as breathing. Apart from this, this wall also helps in chewing and unfolding of food. Negative pressure is a physical or mechanical process in which the pressure in one area is higher than that of the area around it. It is a special state of pressure which is created towards the pressure which is created in an empty or void space. For example, the trachea exerts negative pressure in the lungs when we breathe. During respiration, the diaphragm and superficial muscles pull the lungs, allowing air into the lungs. This creates a type of negative pressure that draws air into the scrotum and then fills it into the empty space. Negative pressure is used to maintain its structure, operate a variety of physiological processes, and be controlled with a variety of mechanical devices and mechanisms. Compression is a physical process in which an object is pressed at one place so that its size is reduced and its shape is changed. One of the main examples of binding is that you can use pressure to lock a substance in its position. An example of binding occurs in the human nervous system. When a nerve is injured, there is pressure on that area which helps in controlling blood circulation in the muscles. Additionally, embankments can also be seen as earthworks in the Earth's geology that help maintain the Earth's embankment and ground level. Damping is used in various fields, such as medical treatment, engineering, and construction. It is an effective technique that helps preserve goods, aid production, and make them more sustainable. These were the names of some parts and elements of the mouth. These are considered as a complete unit, which plays an important role in eating, speaking, chewing, and staying healthy.
Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this enlightening journey through the anatomy of the mouth. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Stay tuned for upcoming videos, and until next time, take care and stay healthy.